Are you always distracted at work and can't really focus on your actual to-dos? Then I got you covered. I'm gonna share my top seven tips with you how you can stay focused, not being distracted, and do your work properly. My first tip is that you actually put on a focus time on your phone. The iPhone actually has a really great mechanic to it, so you can actually put in dedicated focus times. I do have one that's specifically for work, and I put that on so I don't get any like notifications on my phone, despite any like emergency or major uh, notifications, but everything else is blocked and I can check them uh, during my lunch break before and after work but I don't get any nonsense notifications during the day that's like the main part of me being distracted the second tip is actually a combination that goes with the first one I do put my phone on grayscale so I don't have anything that is appealing to me because I'm a very visual person, that kind of distracts me. If you put your phone on grayscale, it is instantly not funny anymore. TikTok isn't funny anymore, Instagram Reels isn't funny anymore, anything on there, it just isn't funny anymore without the colors. So I put everything on grayscale, it looks horrible, I hate it, and therefore I really don't do anything on my phone. So those are my like combined first and second tip. The third tip is something that I usually do mainly when I'm working from home, but depending on like if you're working at um, the office, you can do that too. Before I start working in the morning, I do put everything on at my desk I could possibly need that day. So enough water for the day. I do have like a, I think it's two and a half liters, um, bottle i put my coffee on there i put like my um breakfast if i do eat at the desk which isn't good i put um like my headphones there charger whatever everything that i need on that day snacks the only thing that obviously i don't have there is like my lunch um but i try to have everything there so i don't trick myself into oh i need to get up and get that and you know, then you do it because you do have breaks or you have to get up from the desk and those are distracting themselves. But that way you eliminate a lot of the actual distraction of, oh, why don't I just get this? And then you're like up and then you check your phone and then you do this and that. So I do limit it by having everything on my desk. The next tip is actually something where you kind of have to match your energy and it doesn't have to be the same for every single day. I always try to figure out how I'm feeling today in the meaning of, should I start with doing like easy to do's in the morning first and then switch to like tougher ones, harder ones where I really need more like energy, more brain cells and then like switch back. So it really does differ. Usually for me, I like to have in the first half an hour to hour simple tasks I can just like easily check off so then I already have the feeling oh, I was productive in that day and then move on to something that does A, take longer time and B, is a little bit more challenging and then switch back to uh, easier tasks and kind of like keep that in that pattern. But I do have days where I use that eat the frog um, uh, trick where I just start with something that I really, really hate doing but i really need to get it done in the first uh, in the morning but always varies so it's not that i do have a specific thing i just try to figure out each morning what is that would help me on that day sometimes it could even be that i feel like okay i i know that my energy will be higher in the evening and then i just you know put the the harder task more in the evening it really depends but just be sure that you know that not every day is the same and you really have to match your energy you really want to be in the video huh
What are you doing? What are you doing? Also, I can highly recommend to block focus time. Sometimes we are getting distracted, like kind of from work, you know, then there are like emails coming into your inbox or Slack or Teams messages and they distract you. So I have dedicated focus time and my calendar, it actually says like, do not book meetings in there. That's like the first thing that I try to remove then from my focus time. Secondly, I close my inbox and I close my um, Slack so I don't get any like notifications and I do that then for like an hour to really, really focus on my task. Block all that like extra distractions that you have within work. The next tip is headphones. This is something that I think is really important, especially when you're at the office because you know, obviously people are talking. I mean, I do that too. Um, and you know, there are so many things happening, but if you really need to stay focused and not be distracted, put on your headphones, put on either music or something else. I personally prefer like brown noise a lot or like some kind of like jazzy or loungy music without actually anyone like singing because that does distract me. So figure out what works for you there and put it on and you know, kind of like have it louder in your ears than your actually um, surroundings. I do sometimes do that actually at home too. If you know, in my apartment, it's too quiet and I need something um, to focus more. And usually that's like classical music or anything like that, that really helps me to focus. And my last tip is actually something that I do stick to quite a lot because I feel like, especially with those like harder tasks, you get distracted more easily just because you really don't like doing them. And I always have chocolate at my desk because for me, I mean, that works amazing. I trick my brain into that I actually like what I'm doing there. So if I have like a task that I, you know, just push to the last minute. I really didn't want to do it. I have chocolate on my desk and I eat it while I'm doing that task. So I'm tricking myself into thinking that this task is actually enjoyable because I'm not waiting for the gratification afterwards. I'm not waiting to do something afterwards. I'm not waiting to get that done. I'm enjoying it while I'm doing it. I'm enjoying it while like eating the chocolate and doing the task. I actually have done this for years. I actually have done it also when I was studying and I hated studying <laughs> and um, a lot of the time. So I always ate like chocolate. It could be something different for you. It could be like anything else. You can even eat like carrot if that is something that you absolutely enjoy, but just trick your brain into giving your brain something where, you know, that gratification is actually kind of like um, turned on while you're doing that. I think it's better because then you're not waiting constantly until that it's done, but you're enjoying it a lot more while you're doing it and therefore I get less distracted. Those are all my seven tips. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this short video. Um, leave some tips uh, below in the comments if you have more. I'm really looking forward to it because even though I have those tips, there are still days where I get distracted. So I'm looking forward to hearing your tips. And yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much. Bye. <music>